Well, there's a lot of nerves about all kinds of investing at the moment because of the coronavirus. I want to get an update on the unlisted property sector, and we're talking to Steve Bennett, the CEO of Direct uh, Property at China Hall. Great to see you, mate. Thank you. All right, so let's go with the current environment. How is the unlisted property uh, sector performing? Look, it really depends which sectors, um, Peter. The areas we focus on have performed quite strongly. So the open funds that I have, two office funds, an industrial fund, um, they've averaged between 7% per annum and 9% over the last 12 months. Yeah. Um, it's important for managers to be very transparent. Uh, traditionally, we get independent valuations on a six monthly basis, mm. um, but we got them done at 31 March as well. Yeah. And 30 the low June. point of the mark, stock Absolutely, market. Absolutely, and, yeah. and made sure we communicated those results to investors and across our office and industrial portfolios. Uh, we saw a range of half a percent decreases to one percent increases. Mm. So pretty flat. Yeah. So those valuers will look at your tenants and basically work out whether these people are going to welch on their rents <laughs> or go go broke or anything yep. like that. That's what the, their job yeah. would be. Yeah. And how you've set up the lease terms yeah. and, as you said, who, how, who have you got into your building and who's paying that rent? Yeah. And so the scenario um, is really important to the value of the properties. If someone's going to do a bunk or go broke, they yep. fix it. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, industrial. You, know, mm. you mentioned that. Industrial's done well. Explain why it's done well. Look, industrial used to be an asset class that, oh, that's dirty manufacturing, plastic, yeah. steel mills. Oh, horrible. Mm. Um, it's gone 180 degrees. Mm. It's the darling of the market. Mm. The whole trend around e-commerce, uh, those tailwinds have just been amplified with the recent um, pandemic. Mm. Uh, with more people at home, they've realised in the convenience mm. of being able to click a few buttons and suddenly things get delivered. And where, what does that mean? It means you need more warehouses, you need more distribution centres, and the big beneficiary is clearly industrial and logistics property. Okay. All right. And so how, how do you guys in, invest in industrial for people who don't understand how you do that? Look, we've got one of the biggest transaction teams. That mm. simply means the people that go out and source us assets. Mm. Um, you buy warehouses? Buy warehouses, buy distribution centres. Oh. Um, we're the largest landlord to Coles, Woolies, um, Audi mm. uh, in the country. Mm. Um, and it means when they want something built, in many cases we're the first people that they talk to and we get the opportunity to pitch to them. So it's something we have been able to do very well even in the last three months. Um, my team have picked up around quarter of a billion dollars of industrial and logistics assets. Okay. Is the performance, performance aligned with what you do, would expect, considering the, the is, scary times? It is, absolutely. And they're delivering what they say they will, which is your 6% um, generally income level. Um, and because of those regu regular valuations, they flow through to the unit price yeah. as we get them booked. Some people watching this might say, well, so many people are working from home. Isn't it r risky to invest in the office sector now? Oh, look, I think you need to draw a big distinction between short term, and mm. I mean really short term, yeah. with that scenario you're, you're explaining and what it looks like once you come through the other side. Mm. Um, I remember when the September 11 tragedy happened, mm. um, and um, as horrible as it was, people were saying no one will ever occupy an office building above the fifth floor. Yeah. And there was serious commentary out there that that's what people thought yeah. would happen, and uh, I think we can all say that's clearly not the case. Um, Whilst the demand is soft at the moment in that space, once you get through the other side, uh, there's a huge amount of benefits for having your team and the culture in the office environment. Yeah, and I, I guess from your point of view, the better the calibre of the, of the tenant, the more likelihood that A, they'll, they'll be back to normal yep. and, and they won't be you know, going broke or whatever. And that's why government tenants government are terrific. And big organisations are very good for that kind of thing. And our average lease term, we always love jargon, we're joking offline, mm. whale weighted average lease expiry yeah. of our two office funds is eight years. Yeah. 70% of what does that, that... What does that mean then? It's a weighted average, average lease, lease expiry. expiry. So it means um, if you looked at the 150 odd leases in the direct office fund, yeah. um, the average length of those leases is over eight years. So they really effectively can't get out inside eight years unless they go broke or something. Absolutely, and that's where the focus on the tenant strength comes in yep. and it dovetails in nicely. Yeah. How are you guys informing investors uh, about how things are going? Look, we've probably over communicated and it's not because we thought that there's issues in the sector, but we just know there's been a lot of anxiety out there in the market. So we've upped the frequency of independent valuations, we've upped the frequency of investor communications 
And it's fair to say um, our direct investors as well as our advisor clients have found that very comforting through this process. Okay. And how can investors find out more about Charter Hall if they're interested? Look, we, we um, uh, have big databases ourselves. Direct, people can come directly. Um, if you have a financial advisor, uh, most of the, the reputable firms have us on their approved product list. And look, if you just want to learn more about Charter Hall, please go to our website and there's a whole bunch of resources on there and it'll point you towards more information on our four open funds. Great stuff. That's Steve Bennett, CEO of Direct Property at Charter Hall.